Most people have never heard of leucovorin, but if you're a parent of a child with autism, this might be something worth knowing about. Leucovorin, also called folinic acid or vitamin B9, is a special form of folate. Recent studies suggest it could actually improve speech and communication in some children with autism. So in this quick video, I'll break down the good, the bad, and my take on leucovorin for autism at least as of February 2025. I'm Dr. David Danish, a psychiatrist specializing in treatment-resistant mental health conditions across all ages. Let's dive in. Okay, what is leucovorin and why does it matter? You've probably heard of folate before. It's a B vitamin that plays a huge role in brain development, neurotransmitter production, and even DNA synthesis. It's part of every prenatal vitamin for that reason, but it's something found in vegetables, beans, eggs, many of our foods. But here's where things get interesting. Many children with autism have something called cerebral folate deficiency. Their bodies have folate, but their brains can't get enough of it. And the reason? A large percentage of kids with autism compared to the general population, 50 to 70% of kids with autism have antibodies that block folate from entering the brain. Imagine folate trying to enter a locked door, but the keyhole is jammed. That's what these antibodies are doing at the folate gateway to the brain. And that's where leucovorin comes in. Unlike regular folic acid, leucovorin uses a different pathway to get into the brain. It bypasses jammed keyholes and delivers folate where it's needed most, the brain. Sounds promising, right? Well, researchers thought so too, and they put it to the test. Okay, a little bit more about antibodies and antibody testing. The FRAT test, which is short for folate receptor alpha autoantibody test, is typically the first step in checking for these folate blocking antibodies. If the test is positive, it means the body is producing antibodies that interfere with folate transport. That makes leucovorin an especially logical treatment choice. But Here's the problem. Antibody testing has limitations. First, it's expensive and not always covered by insurance. Second, it can be hard to access. Most labs do not offer it. But most importantly, it's not 100% accurate. Antibody levels can fluctuate and a negative result doesn't necessarily mean there's no benefit to leucovorin. Some children with autism who test negative for these antibodies still see significant improvements with leucovorin, especially if they have speech delays or seizures. The real issue isn't just the presence of antibodies, it's the broader concept of cerebral folate deficiency, or CFD for short. And remember, cerebral Cerebral means brain in this case, so we're talking about a brain deficiency of folate even when the rest of our body or their body is not deficient. This brain deficiency of folate can be caused by antibodies as we mentioned, but it can be caused by other issues as well. Not to get too technical, but these can be faulty transporters or other issues about how the body processes folate. Because there are different causes at play, the issues arise in children at different ages. Some cases of this brain deficiency present so young, infancy, age four months. Others don't appear until much later, after the age of one, often without any cognitive impairments. The form of this brain deficiency, most relevant to autism, usually affects speech and language without necessarily impacting overall intelligence. This is why I personally don't push for every patient to get antibody testing. Given the risk reward ratio, both of which I'll touch on soon, leucovorin can still be worth trying even without a definitive antibody test result. Clinical trials, let's look at them and does it actually work? Let's talk about the studies because the results are actually very impressive. A US study from Fry and all his colleagues looked at kids with autism and language delays. Half of the kids in the study received leucovorin. The other half got placebo, AKA a sugar pill. After just 12 weeks, the leucovorin group had significantly better language scores. In fact, 65% of them showed noticeable improvement compared to only 24% in the placebo group. But here's the cool part. The kids who tested positive for these folate blocking antibodies improved the most. This means this isn't just a random treatment. It's targeting a very specific biological issue. In 2024, a trial in France called the EFET study found that kids taking leucovorin had lower autism severity scores compared to those taking placebo. And another 2024 study from India showed the same thing. 
better speech, better communication, and overall reduced autism scores. So we're not talking about a one-off fluke. Multiple studies, different countries, all pointing to the same conclusion. Is it safe? The short answer is yes, it is. None of these studies found any serious side effects. The most common issue, some kids did have increased energy at first, like a temporary hyperactivity phase, but this usually faded within a few weeks. Unlike some other treatments out there, Leucovorin has been used safely in medicine for years. It's already FDA approved for other conditions, including for patients going through intense chemotherapy treatment. So while we need to do more research, it's looking like a relatively safe and well-tolerated option for kids with autism at this time. Okay, who should consider this? I want to be cautiously optimistic about this supplement. Leucovorin isn't a magic cure for autism, but for kids with cerebral folate deficiency, it's one of the most promising treatments we have for improving speech and communication. If your child has autism and struggles with language, it might be worth trying now given the risk reward ratio. But always discuss this with your medical practitioner first. There are the side effects and those may continue to evolve even after I make this video. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, share with anyone you know who might benefit. It helps more people get real practical mental health advice. And if you want a free handout that organizes all of this into neat categories, go to drdavidanish.com and I'll put that link in the notes. I'll see you on the next video.